So this video is going to basically be a Zara haul to begin with because I know that's what most of you actually care about. But the end half is going to be about fast fashion in general. If you didn't already know, fast fashion is basically any brand that you know <laughs> where they mass produce a piece of clothing and it's trendy so it doesn't last, it's not like a classic style. Um, and it's a lot of things that people just chuck away. I've made a video on like the very how fast fashion is very bad, but that's basically why fast fashion is bad. It's um, one of the biggest killers to the environment, if not the biggest. Um, and for humanity, it, 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 like there's, these companies obviously go, their aim is to make a lot of money, like flat out. They will go to countries that don't have minimum wage and, like labour laws and like worker things like trade unions and things like that and the the workers are exploited and it's very capitalist and that the, the way it works it keeps those people in those places by paying them such a low wage but the, the workers can't really get out of it because they need the money um and there's no laws for kind of the safety and the work environment and it's often very very dangerous there's no age um there's no kind of maternity pay and things like that. And it's basically, I don't know if you've heard the term sweatshops, it's basically that. And it's not fair that people suffer for us to get clothes. Um, I, I will say that there are a lot of brands having like a conscious range and things like that. And I think that the humanity side of it is definitely neglected in that. And it's more about the environment, which is great. And we love that but also we need to remember about the people actually making these clothes. So, that's the little introduction. <laughs> um, I'm gonna now go on to the Zara haul and then we can touch back at that as to what's going on, why did I just say that, yeah, I'm giving you a haul of fast fashion, okay? Zara this spring summer has been huge and I did a little shopping, cause I, I do still, participate in fast fashion like even though I don't post about it and stuff like I still participate in fast fashion I just don't like to promote the brands that I'm buying from because I know that they're bad that's kind of like a little hint as to the bit later but okay so Zara has a lot of good things in they come in cardboard boxes and they're like sturdy ones so that's great obviously these can go straight into the recycling um the tape as well also has that paper quality to it, so it can all be recycled in the paper recycling, which is great, and I think most councils do a paper recycling. And then the actual clothing or accessories, whatever you've got, is wrapped in paper. Um, so this is really cool, it reminds me of like a small business, like with a little cute sticker on it. Um, but again, recycle this. Um, the sticker might be questionable because it has that kind of reflective aspect to it. Um, but yeah, actually, it's, I think that's, that's through and through paper because it just rips like paper. Um, if you know what I mean with like other recycle stickers. Um, so you can recycle this as well. None of the items that I received anyway had any kind of plastic wrap. Um, the shoes, I've got two pairs of shoes and they both came in this linen bag. This would be good to like take to supermarkets to put your fruit and veg in, um, even just to store your fruit and veg or literally for anything you want. That's my like environmental, why I actually wanted to film this video because I was like, okay, they are doing their bit. They are doing more than I than any other brand do. I also got a free perfume tester, water lily tea dress and that sounds absolutely divine. The reason I actually went to shop on Zara is because my little cousins came over, we made all the TikToks in the world. Um, I think they've been on my channel three times as well. Um, so they came over and they were wearing these lovely grungy boots and I kept looking at them and I really wanted them and I got them basically. So these are the kids' shoes, which I never actually looked at kids' shoes before. Um, because obviously they have different styles within that and I just never thought I'd fit into them. So these are a size 4 and they're these like big, like high top Chelsea boots, like just slightly higher than normal with like a chunky like ribbed heel. They've got a nice zip um, and like this bit's quite like all fabric and I just think they were really simple, not overly like grungy where I couldn't pair it with like anything not grungy but like I can put these on with like a nice like bohemian long dress, I can 
I use with jeans, like literally I can wear these with whatever. I am a, I'm a well, I'm a boot fanatic, um, and I always wear boots. Sizing wise, I think these they did feel a little bit smaller than my other shoes, which were a size four. But yeah, they have the exact measurements of the feet and things on the Zara website, so I probably should have measured it. But I think they will actually fit me fine. Like my toe, toes weren't curling or anything like that. On the same order, I was actually on the waiting list for these trousers, um, and I didn't get an email to say that they were back in stock. But when I for these shoes these trousers were back in stock um so i've got these green oh my gosh this is like green overload all the different shades of green right here these are some green um jeans they are wide leg um and they are very very long like i'm literally gonna have to cut them but they fit really nicely around the waist green's always been my favorite color and green has been in for like a couple years as well and um, so i feel like these won't go out of style for me like even when green isn't trendy anymore i'll probably still like it because i always have they're high waisted i can't i can't do low waisted things um and i just really really like them they're like a thick denim as well which is lovely and they have like a raw hem anyhow um so to cut them will be like it will just seem seamless and yeah i'm very happy with those i'm always scared to wear white i love wearing white but i just get it dirty i don't even get it dirty i just get scared of getting it dirty so i only have one white t-shirt and i never wear it because i'm like well if that gets dirty i'm fucked so i got another just plain white t-shirt it's a bit cropped but like with anything high-waisted it just like you can't see any skin at all this did come up oh my god it's so creased this did come up really really tight i got some extra small well i probably should have got this in a small um but th this was 6.99 and it's like a thick kind of cotton so that's nice then next I picked up these dresses, which I've literally seen any any Zara haul, and even like Ellen Calder, like I've seen everyone talk about these Zara dresses. Um, they're the, this one's inside out because I tried it on and then didn't, <laughs> didn't turn it back the right, right way. So this is the, it's like a midi ribbed dress that has like a racer top to it, so it's, Racery. Um, but it covers you up, it doesn't, it's not one of those races that like shows a side boob. Um, I really like these and I just picked it up in a black and then in a white also. Um, just because they're just like the classic colours and I think these are, they will be very, very classic. Um, literally I've had dresses like these so many times throughout my life and i'm not really i don't really like a short dress it makes me feel uncomfortable i don't wear them that often um so i love kind of like a, a midi fit um and it's also it's bodycon but it's ribbed so it kind of it gives you some give it's not like super tight and, and yeah you obviously it's, it's something you can wear quite casual because of the racer top and the fact it's ribbed um but also you can style it up and like wear it with some heels or something like that and then i got this is something which I was uh, debating. I got this white, kind of like tennis sweat skirt. Um, it does actually look quite small. Um, but I thought this would be really cute. I love wearing sweatpants and sweatpants, sweat joggers, joggers. I love wearing joggers. And the material, I just love being cozy. Like I've realized no matter how pretty I look in something or how beautiful the fabric is or the pattern, like I, will not wear it if I'm not comfortable. And I thought this would be a nice kind of like casual thing to throw on. I don't really have many casual summer things. Um, and I quite like a little bit of a skirt now and then. I feel like it's it's simple and it could be quite classic. <laughs> I also got this dress. Now I know this style is in for the long haul. This is something that I could even wear to like a vintage party. It's so creased, I'm so sorry. It's this pink, um, like cami spaghetti strap top, which again is like a classic, you can never go wrong with that. And it's a maxi dress um, and it's literally, it's got no shape to it. It's like pretty much just straight down. Um, and I just think that was really, really beautiful and pretty. And it's a very light fabric, although it is quite like silky. A bit bougie, obviously it's something you could easily wear um, as something fancy, but I would probably wear it more casual as well. This is something you see like 90 supermodels wearing and it's literally something that's never gonna go out of fashion. It's so classic, it's so flattering in every single body type. And yeah, it's something that I will literally own forever. And last but not least, I got another pair of shoes. I've been wanting Mary Jane flats for such a long time, but 
like whenever I see someone wear them, they're normally like older ladies and when I've asked for other people's opinion around me, they're like, no, don't wear them. Um, but then I found these in the kids section of Zara and they're in this green colour and like I said, I've always liked green, but I think they're just, they're just nice. So like this is all, even this part, which is normally plastic within shoes, this is literally like a paper straw sort of thing. So they're definitely easily recyclable um, and all the inner bits are recyclable as well but I just thought they were really nice and they're just such a classic little shoe like the little strap across they're flat so I'm never going to be like having to get used to them because of the heel um and they're just like a cute purple colour so I think with a white t-shirt a pair of denim jeans and these like they will always be timeless but I can also dress them up um with like a cute dress or something like that and I, I just really, really, really like them. I even really like the buckle, the fact it's a circle. Um, I just thought they were really, really sweet and lovely. I think I spent, in total, just under 200, which actually, to think about that, makes me want to vomit. Um, I meant to be saving for some very exciting stuff next year. Um, but yeah, I opened the package and I was really shocked they didn't have any plastic in it. Everything seemed pretty recyclable. Um, the linen bag's obviously reusable and like linen's quite in at the minute anyway. So you can always use them as a little like trendy accent to things. Um, so yeah, that was my little haul. And realistically, like, although I almost spent £200, like I got quite a lot for it. Like if like, that wouldn't even cover the cost of cover the cost of like a designer bag or anything like that and for these things that are going to last me like for actually my whole life i think it's pretty good <laughs> let's now talk about the fact that i know zara is a brand that has had many humanitarian issues and crises and the the main one i can think of is bangladesh um i think it was the most recent one that i heard of where there was like an explosion in the factory because obviously things aren't monitored there's no health and safety regulations um actually i don't think it was an explosion i think it caved in the, fa the factory caved in um and then obviously there was lots of injuries and things like that and it's like I, I'm being completely open, honest and vulnerable here because I don't think people actually do. People either get people that are like so thrift everything, like make their own things, never buy from fast fashion or you get people that only buy things from fast fashion and don't talk about the other aspect of it. So I'm trying to, like for me, I, I could not just post a haul. It doesn't fit with my channel anyways, but I could never just post a haul. Um, it just doesn't sit right with me that maybe the people who post hauls don't actually know what goes on, um, but I, I, I know, <laughs> and I've made it clear to everyone that I know. Um, so I just thought it was a, even, even just saying the fact it's, it's an interesting thing to talk about and to make a video about, like it's, that's in itself is wrong because I, I, I guess it comes down to the fact that like, if it's not happening in front of us, we refuse to believe it's happening. Um, okay, and th this is going to get heavy now, okay? And that's a prime example of, like, politics and in terms of people. So when I was at school, obviously, I was very interested in history. If you didn't know me, then I was very, very interested in history. I started a history undergraduate. Um, to this day, very interested in history. Obviously, in the English curriculum, we have to learn about World War II and specifically the English narrative of World War Two. Um, so, so we learned that England was trying to stop the Nazis from what they were doing to the people they didn't like and America came in and just helped a little bit. Um, but really, like England knew the whole time what was going on. Um, England is literally the country in the world that started concentration camps and extermination camps and so, yeah so basically going back to the point when I was at school and I was learning about these things in my head I was like well obviously no one could have known because if you know that's going on millions of people would fly over there and would stop it and we would have strength in numbers. Fast forward to being 23 years old and having social media and throughout that time learning that the Nazi extermination was not the 
only kind of genocide that's happened in the whole world. And the Kardashians were one of the people who actually highlighted to me that there were other other mass genocides of different groups of people. Um, and they obviously spoke about the Armenian genocide. And up until recently, where we have concentration camps, extermination camps going on in China for Igor Muslims, it does not seem real because I've, we've learned about these things in the past, okay? We've learned about them in the past and you think, okay, well that couldn't happen now because people now are so different to that, there's no way that could happen. And that was just a culture thing at the time which caused all those fuck ups, right? But it, you learn that it's not and it happens right now and it's like, you feel so powerless and I feel so kind of like it's literally it's the fact it's not happening right in front of you so you don't do anything about it even when you see videos and images I know that they're real and I will spread the word and I will sign every petition I will do all the donations but what else can I do because I don't think that's enough um I digress with my point with trying to actually explain these horrible things that are going on. Um, yes, yeah, so you see these photos and images and we are so, we're an entertainment society where we watch TV, watch YouTube, we go on Instagram and things like that and seeing a video of something actually doesn't strike us like it should. Yeah, I see these videos and I am bawling my eyes out because I can't believe it. But also, my mind cannot make the distinction that that is not a film or that has not been directed and those are not actors. And the fact it's actually real people, that has real pain. And I think that is like the greatest example of why we, over here in these countries, we do these things so effortlessly. We buy from these brands so effortlessly to fit into a certain society. And it blows my mind that I know all of this stuff happens. I know that there are such things as sweatshops. I know that these things are destroying the environment. I know that buying from these brands is only going to upkeep the radical capitalism that is happening in the countries that don't have workforce laws. But I still buy from them. And... I don't have the answers, I don't, but I think it's so important to start talking about it more because, like, I can have that inner battle with myself of, Jasmine, don't do it, but I'm going to do it, and doing it, but, like, I feel like it needs to happen on, like, a mass social media scale for anything to actually change and influence society, influence the way I'm thinking, at least. Um, and I'm always very open to the fact, like, these leather shoes that I bought, like, I, I stick up for animal rights, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to make sense, but, like, I'm not a perfect human being, and I don't think there are very many perfect human beings, and, like, I'm not, I, I, I'm, I'm ashamed, obviously, that I even bought from this brand, I'm ashamed that I bought leather shoes knowing they were leather, and... But I, I have to address it. Like, I have to tell people that I've done that. Because, I mean, I don't know. You might be watching this and thinking, you're just a hypocrite and that is your personality type. And, like, that's fine if you think that. But for me, it's like... I, I mean, my personal opinion is that you can always preach about something if you don't do it yourself. If you think something is right, you should do it. And from working with consultants and doctors, like, you see that. Don't drink alcohol, exercise more often, don't smoke. Okay, thanks doctor, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm getting shit faced, I'm actually gonna do some drugs, I'm gonna have some loads of cigarettes and I'm not gonna exercise ever. And it's like, that is what happens. My camera's about to run out of energy. But that is what happens and I think, if you know something is good, why not tell people about it? Do you know what I mean? Like, 
just because I'm not a perfect human being doing it myself does not mean that other people should not know about this. Um, okay, so that was my disorganised thoughts about the kind of, the idea that we just, we do it and we know that it's wrong, but we do it and why that is. Um, in terms of trying to stop, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not the best example, but I guess trying to remind yourself and trying to tell people that like, like when I hear about like crises that actually make, well, social media news because it never makes mainstream news, I share it and I tell people and that kind of, when I tell every single time I tell someone that confirms the idea in my head that it's actually real and yeah it's it's hard to talk about because it's like it's actually real people this is affecting it's actually the world we live on that is affecting and we still do it and i'm having a really big struggle at the minute so i'm like jazz i just did as our haul and now i'm saying this and like i feel like a hypocrite but i also need to to say it. i need to address it and i'm like i'm gonna force myself to upload this because the fact is I did buy these clothes. Why would I not post a video? Because that's what I did. I did it. You know what I mean? Even if it was the worst thing ever, I am a dickhead for buying for it. And like, that's fine. I'll put it out on the internet. I, that's my responsibility. I'm accountable for that because I did it. <sighs> I guess other tips would be trying to buy things which are classic and that you have since stood, stood the test of time. Um, not even just the fact that it's because it's trendy over time, but like, there are just things which are more comfortable. There are things which just make people, like in summer, wearing a dress. It's a lot cooler than wearing like a two-piece. Um, in winter, having the layers, having a shirt, having a jumper, having some boots on. Like, there are just more practical ways to dress and maybe getting like a certain fabric that you really like or a certain colour that you really like and that can be worn in many different ways. Um, I think that's an important thing to, to keep in mind when you are shopping, generally, but also most essentially from fast fashion brands. So yeah, that that is kind of... I don't really know how to, to round off the video really, that that's what I want to talk about. Um, I wanted to kind of commend and congratulate Zara for their environmental efforts. And I'm sorry if this has been a real big Debbie Downer for you. Um, I don't I don't know how people will perceive this video. I don't even know how I perceive this video. Like, is it a good thing I'm luring people in to learning about this through a Zara haul? Is it me being a coward and buying things and monetizing a video just because it's got a good message and that will bring people to my channel like is it that like I really don't know should I have said this first on the Zara haul last but then would you have stayed for the rest of the video then like I feel like if you watch the Zara haul you're like if you finish that bit, you're kind of already invested, you might as well finish the video and then you might hear this. Basically, I'm not a perfect human being. <laughs> I try and be kind, but again, I will repeat this. I'm a white woman living in the UK. It's so easy for me to seem like I'm being a good person and it's so easy for me to seem like I'm making a big effort to, to make a change in the world. Yeah, I'm literally going to stop now because I think I've made my point and now I'm just kind of having a mini therapy session with you. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I'm proud of you, especially if you clicked on this video for the Zara Horn stayed until now. I'm proud of you for even staying till now, even if you just watched this video because you know me. I do love you because I love everyone. And thank you for watching.